Hello, my friends. So I think that today we are really going to enjoy our devotion time together, not because it is happy and joyful and full of bright topics, but because it is deep and meaningful. It is full of grace and salvation. It shows a picture of our Lord suffering on our behalf with his great love for us on full display. So let's go ahead and get into it. Our scripture reading is going to take us to Luke 22, verse 44, and it says, In his anguish he prayed more earnestly, and his sweat became like great drops of blood falling on the ground. And then C.S. Lewis writes in Christian Reflections, He chose on that night to plumb the depths of Christian experience, to resemble not the heroes of his army, but the very weakest camp, followers and unfits. When we read the Apostle Paul's words about strength and weakness in 2 Corinthians 12, 9, we are sometimes confused. Paul wrote it, so we believe it, but we don't always understand it. Then we remember Jesus in the Garden of Gethsemane, and the words of Paul take on meaning when we recall Jesus living out strength and weakness. In his human weakness, Jesus turned to his Father in prayer. C.S. Lewis knew about prayer and weakness. As a nine-year-old child, he had prayed for his mother's recovery from cancer. She died. Years later, he prayed for the recovery of his wife from cancer. She recovered, enabling them to enjoy three years together before she too succumbed to a reoccurrence of the cancer. In his essay, Petitionary Prayer, Lewis wrote about Jesus during those moments of weakness. Jesus chose to resemble the very weakest camp followers and unfits. I can identify with that. I see many of my own weaknesses. That Jesus would identify with me in prayer gives me encouragement to know that he understands me in all my weaknesses. Let's pray. Jesus, in your weakness, all the power of God is revealed for our salvation. In your name we pray. Amen. So my friends, with that, I will leave you to ponder on that a while longer as I know that I will. Um, I love you all very much and I will see you tomorrow.